OK. Every day. So every day. You can see them every day. All right. So now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go through a formula like this. Now, Dara, this one's going to be a little bit different than the last problem we looked at because, as you guys noticed, that last problem was x squared, right? So you're like, hey, let's just plug that into our calculator. It's not going to be a problem. Well, now we have a little bit different because if you notice on your calculator, you don't really have some. It's always your calculator is y equals. Now, there is ways to get around that, which I, which I can show you. But right here, guys, we can't just plug this into our calculator and say, all right, we're good to go to graph it. All right? So we still need to make sure we understand what our focus, directrix, and all blah, 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 blah that we need to figure out. So now, I notice I have a y squared. So therefore, I'm going to write out the vertex form of a parabola that is going to be horizontal. So it's going to a times y minus k squared plus k. Now, as you guys remembered, when I, taught, when I showed you the difference between these, the vertex, um, I'm sorry, the focus directrix, these are different, right? They're not the same rules. You have to follow different process. Huh? Yes. Thank you. All right. So the first thing we need to do, though, is get this to that form, right? So again, do we know do we have a binomial squared? No. So guess what? We're going to have to we are going to have to subtract some stuff, and then we're going to have to complete the square. Complete the square again, right? If we don't have this, if we if we don't have a binomial squared to put in vertex form, we have to have a binomial squared. So let's uh, add the y squared over to the other side. Now you can do 2x equals y squared plus 4y plus 10. Now we could isolate the x. All right, and I, I did that actually last class period um, to show them that you can still do it and complete the square. However, then you're going to be dealing with fractions. And I would just say avoid it unless you have to. Um, we can divide the 8 to the 2 at the end. All right? So we need to create this. We need to complete the square here. Well, since I don't have a coefficient in front of my y, I can just take 4 divided by 2 and square it. And that gives me 4. Okay, Good talk. So y equals 2x equals y squared plus 4y plus 4. Now, since we added a 4 on the right side, we have to make sure we subtract a 4. That 4 is not being multiplied by anything else, so we just leave it as the minus 4. All right. So now, the whole purpose of completing the square is we created a perfect square trinomial that we can now rewrite as a binomial squared. So now I write 2x equals, well, how do you write this as a binomial squared? You factor it. What times, what multiplied by, what multiply, what two numbers multiply to give you 4, add to give you 4? x plus 2 times x plus 2, right? So you could say this is x plus 2 times x plus 2, which is x plus 2 squared. And you guys notice, every single time you complete the square, this is what you get. And that's why you want it, because we need to get it to this format. 10, plus, 10 minus 4 is 6. Now, let's divide by 2. So therefore, I get x equals 1 half times x plus 2 squared plus 3. Is everybody cool with me now? No. No. OK. Yes? Why is it x plus 2? Because when I factor this, this factors. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Big, big no, no. That's a Y. Thank you. Yes. OK. I know, I know. It's crazy, isn't it? Um, then I, oh, I'll put it on YouTube. I have no problem. Why? Oh, OK. So yeah, so mathematics, you're never supposed to make mistakes, right? That's what well, mathematics is all about. I'm not allowed to make mistakes. So I have to be absolutely perfect every single time. OK. There we go. That's right. So here's what we have here, all right? So we have this, all right? Um, so now what we need to do, OK, is go ahead and um, find the vertex, the axis symmetry. You guys should know how to do this. Well, actually, first of all, let's determine what this graph would even possibly look like. All right, so we know, well, let's talk about the opening. So we look at the opening. We look at our a. Is our a greater than 0 or less than 0? Greater than 0, right? It's not negative, so it's greater than 0. 
So therefore, is my graph going to open to the right or to the left? Because we know it's not up and down because y squared. Right, right. So it opens to the right. So we, know, we don't know what the graph looks like, but we know it opens to the right. Yes? So let's find the vertex then. So the vertex in this case is going to be, it's in your notes that we did earlier. Your vertex is always h comma k, right? Yes? It doesn't matter if it opens up or down. The vertex is h comma k. So what's h comma k in this problem? Close. 3 comma negative 2. Remember, this is your h, right? And the 2 is your negative, is your k, right? So you just had them flipped. So your vertex is going to be 3 um, comma negative 2. So let's go over to 3. 1, 2, 3, negative 2. And we'll call that your vertex. All right, and then we have axis of symmetry. All right, so axis of symmetry. Remember, your axis of symmetry, huh? Um, well, let's look at it. It has to go through your vertex, right? And therefore, yes, what is that equation of that line? It goes through negative 2. The y value is equal to negative 2. So yeah, exactly right. Axis of symmetry, y equals negative 2. You are awesome. All right, so this is old stuff. Now, let's get into the new stuff, all right? So to get to the new stuff, we need to now determine our focus. So since our graph opens to the right, is our focus to the right or to the left? To the right, right? Focus is going in where your graph opens up. So therefore, we know we're going to take it to the right. So therefore, am I going to add, remember we always add our focus, but do we add our focus to the h coordinate of the vertex or to the k coordinate? Right, the h. Remember, when it opens up or down, k is going to open up or down, right? k is your y value. h is your x value. So you want to take, so your focus, our h, is now going to be added to 3 plus, well, now we need to figure out what's our, what is our um, h, right? So, or what is our focus value? So we do 1 divided by 4 times 1 half, right? It's 1 divided by 4 times a, yes? OK, so we look at that, and that equals 1 half. So we do 3 plus 1 half comma negative 2. Because remember, the focus is a point, right? So we do 3 plus 1 half, and that's going to be 7 halves. So we go over to 7 halves, which is the same thing as 3.5. So we do 1, 2, 3. So 3.5 is going to be like right there. And we say that's the focus. So now that we found the focus to find the directrix, we now need to also subtract, right? And what is it going to equal? Because remember, the directrix is a line. So it's not a point. So it's a line. So is it x equals the, the difference, or does, or does y equal? <coughs> x equals, because it's a vertical line, so your x value. So now to find the directrix. We say 3 minus 1 half. I'm sorry. We say x equals 3 minus 1 half, which is going to be equal to 5 halves, or 2.5. Yes? Yes, but that problem you didn't have to do on that test. So now we have our directrix is 5 halves which is 2.5. So we go to 2.5 and we uh, graph that. OK? So that's our focus. That's our directrix. Now let's determine what our lattice rectum is. So our lattice rectum, remember, is 1 over a, which is 1 half. So remember when you divide by a fraction, that's the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. Oh, that's not the reciprocal. So therefore, it equals 2. So therefore, if the total distance from point to point going through the focus perpendicular to the axis of symmetry is 2, 
then the distance from the focus to one point is one. Cricket, 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 yeah, it's one. So therefore, if I go down to negative two, then the next point is going to be up from the focus is going to be at negative one, and this one's going to be at negative three. All right, so you guys can see you started graphing those points, and now I can graph through those points to sketch my graph. All right, and obviously, ladies and gentlemen, again, if we wanted to find more points to verify this, we could easily go ahead and create a XY table again to go and do that. But for right now, just as far as putting it into vertex form and then finding the opening vertex axis symmetry, focus directus, and lattice rectum, you have all set. OK? Good. So do you guys?